inputs. What's up guys? Gonna start with a crawl I like to call the cat crawl. So just starting in tabletop like this, tuck the toes underneath and then from there you can have a slight bend in the arms, you can have them straight. Then I just want you to lift your knees up off the ground so they're just starting to hover. This is like the default position and this is where I'll be working from. Just so you can see, I'll come to the front. So the next thing that we're going to start to do, lift the knees. We're now going to lift one arm at a time. Lift and place. Just go left, left to right a couple of times. Now what I want to see is this to be nice and stable. What I don't want, or you know, any variation, but we're really losing the center of gravity. We want to use our core to really keep it controlled and compensate for the motion that occurs as we shift our center of gravity. So once we've done a few with the hands, we're then going to move on to the knees. Now the way that we do the knees, or the legs, sorry, if you don't bend the, bend the knee, we instead bend the hip to lift the knee towards the wrists just a little bit. Alternating side to side, left and right, just a few times. Again, not collapsing, not compensating, keeping it nice and controlled. And if I do this right, my back should stay pretty much straight. Final variation in the warm up. With a completely flat back, we're getting your left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. And I'm just alternating like that. Again, just so you can see, trying to keep that really controlled and not shifting. Once we have that down, we can begin to walk. Left and right, left and right. Now they come up in the same time and they should place at the same time. Lift, place. I go backwards. The way to make this hard is small steps with a lot of air time.